reading today is from Philippians chapter 2, verses 5 to 11. In your relationships with one another, have the same mindset as Christ Jesus, who being in the very nature of God, did not consider equality with God something to be used to his own advantage. Rather, he made himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness. And being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself by being obedient to death, even death on a cross. Therefore God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue acknowledge that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Bev. Well, good morning and happy new year to you. All right, I'm sure all of you have seen the church signboard as you church message signboard messages came into the church this morning. What does it say? Blessings 2023. Blessings 2023. I believe it is really timely and appropriate message, not only for us as a church, but also everyone out there in the community in this particular year. It would all depend on how we define God's blessings, but everyone needs a real sense of blessings which come from God. Because all of us would want to see some changes. Positive, encouraging changes in our lives. Spiritual, relational, emotional, after spending some tough years in the past. Everyone agree? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Today, the first day of a new year, I believe, is the best day to bring changes. Or to start making changes, or even to think about changes in our lives. I wonder what areas in your life you believe need a change. Your spiritual life, social life, family, work, health, or other areas. And if you think you badly need a change, what would you do to make that change? A big change, a little change, a gradual change, a sudden change, or you don't want any change. <laughs> From a very short 49 years of experience compared to Dawn or Mari back there, Life doesn't seem to allow us to stay where we are forever, as we all know. Whether we like it or not, change seems to be an inevitable reality, which constantly comes and goes in our everyday walks of life. In other words, when you look back, you might be able to see yourself either as, as, a, as the one who brings changes or one of those who are changed by the change someone or a certain trend has brought in your life. Are you a changer or just stay where you are? <laughs> mm. I believe there's not a single person in the world, whole world, who belongs to only one camp of these areas of change. Whether we are aware of it or not, all of us, I believe, somehow bring changes in other people's lives. And at the same time, we are the receiving end of the changes that others make or create it, or the changes simply given to us. Yet ironically, those changes intentional or unintentional, make us feel alive, giving us a sense of life. 
which is ongoing, ever-evolving, and not static. So change, in a sense, reminds us of life, the life that we live. And life produces changes. Where do you find, or have you found, the breath of life among the constant changes in your life? And how would you find blessings in this new year among the coming possible changes in your life? And what could be a bit of change for you to be able to encounter those blessings? Spiritual, relational, psychological, or whatever. What would you be your practical ways that you can think of to fill your life with blessings? Not only for you, but also for your loved ones, close friends, church family, and others. I hope I can be a blessing to others as much as and as best as I can. What about you? Do you want that too? Yes. Simply because that brings joy. That brings joy, meaning, and purpose in my life. And because it sets me in the right direction, even when I need to be more patient, extra courageous, or more determined. Yet you and I won't be able to give what we don't have. And we cannot be who we are not. Unless we accept the truth that all the blessings we come across in our lives, big or small, come from the one we worship. the one who walks with us, the one whose living presence never leaves us, even no one is around, when no one is around, the one who gives ear to my little sighing and my groanings and my private prayers, when not many seem to care for us. I cannot think of any other way to be a blessing than to worship my Savior more and more in my daily lives and to acknowledge his living, forgiving, merciful presence every single day of my life. The one who I exalted by his utmost humility and obedience to the Father God is the true source of all the blessings that we're going to experience in 2023. I want to share with you, share with you a short video um, that I took during, during the week. So thinking of the first Sunday of a new year and also the theme today, I thought I might try to make a short video of my life. <laughs> it is very just, just usual, not special, mundane couple of days of my life during the week. A bit embarrassing to show myself and my life <laughs> in the video to you, but um, I believe it is one of many lives that our Lord you know, blesses and sustains. And while taking the videos, I try to acknowledge our Lord's presence as much as I could. So I hope that you might be able to find God's grace and blessings in different segments of the video. But some um, real difficult part of that is the video can't really show your heart. <laughs> it shows your surroundings and what happens, but really hard to express your heart. But I, maybe I'd like to encourage you to do the same that I did. If you want to show others about your life, how God has blessed your life and how God is leading in your life. But let's watch a video. Thanks. Thanks, Robbie. Oh, 
do you think? <laughs> yes. I just want to share with you just a little bit of my life and try to encourage you to think about the Lord's presence, our God's presence in every single moment in our lives. Like I said, it's really hard to share my heart in the video, but generally I was grateful to be in different places during the week, even in a shopping center, even in Coles. <laughs> and um, yeah, think about it. if you take a video of your life, like I did, I encourage you to do it, actually. Where would you be able to find the Lord's presence there? And I wonder how often and how much we, including myself, acknowledge our Lord's living and merciful presence and feel grateful and humbled by it. And I wonder how we worship the eternal Savior of our souls in our everyday lives. So brothers and sisters in Christ, we are blessed. We are blessed because we know where the ultimate source of hope is. And we are blessed because we know who can rely on. We are blessed because we know where we can find forgiveness. And we are blessed because we can still find joy even at the lowest moments in our lives. And we are blessed because we can find others who share the same heart and mind with us. I hope we can share this profound, profound blessing with so many in the world that are wanting to find and to experience, and that we might be a blessing to others with the help of the one who lives in us.